Okay, so I uh, figured it's time I try one of these tier lists from this tier maker. And we're doing EA Sports NHL video games 1994 to NHL 20, including some spin offs. Now, I wish it wasn't just EA Sports, I wish it was other NHL video games like uh, NHL Stanley Cup for the Super Nintendo or the 2K series. Uh, Yes, NHL ESPN, even the Wayne Gretzky NHL 2005, 2006. Um, I wish those were added into this as well, especially the 2K series, the ESPN uh, series. They were great, right? Your dynasty mode season, whatever you want. It just made it feel real, especially when you got to the All-Star game. They actually had the All-Star skills competition. You could do shooting accuracy, agility, uh, fast skater, all that stuff. And it just made... Just a great overall feeling, great game. Um, I really do miss 2K, I miss the competitiveness there. Uh, if 2K is not gonna come back, NHL, EA Sports, can you bring us uh, the skills competition? You can do it, come on. Um, it's also missing, what is it, NHL hits aren't on this as well. But we've got what we got, so let's get right into it. NHL, rock the rink. This was excellent back in the day. I used to go to my friend's house before school, play this game. I'll say it's not much of a hockey game, uh, but it is like a wrestling fighter game inside an ice rink. I just remember doing like the helicopter spin with the stick. It was good fun. I'm putting an excellent just based on what happened in my childhood and absolutely enjoying this game every second I played it. Uh, the NHL anniversary, don't really remember this, so I'll throw that into not played. NHL slap shot, for what it is, it's excellent. Uh, from going from tight and working your way up, like, I will dust off the Wii, get out NHL Slapshot when my son is old enough to play video games, because it, it's just fun. It, again, like Rock the Rink, it is what it is. It's not trying to be realistic. It just wants you to be, it, it's interactive, right? Um, gets you off your feet. It's good fun. If anyone's seen Nasher's series, I'm pretty sure he's doing NHL Slapshot. He's playing it nowadays. Uh, I can't wait to jump right back into it. NHL Arcade, for me, it's the GOAT. Why is it the GOAT? Fun. Pure fun. Uh, playing this in university, you know, after a few beverages, you get home late, 2 a.m., throw on some NHL Arcade for, what was it, like $1.99? Um, and it was great, you know. It was like the NHL, what they're trying to do now, but better so much better uh you know you can make your skater big but slower you can get the speed burst um you can make the goalie tiny you can hit the goalie the strategy was it was just great you know you get three friends there one takes out the goalie the other try to take out the other two defenders uh great fun nhl arcade you know what you are and you do it well nhl 97 i actually didn't play nhl 97 so i have to put this in the not played nhl 10 I'm going to throw you in excellent. Uh, I think NHL 10 was when they included the defensive skill stick. So again, just change the game, gameplay a little bit more. Um, I, I am f a fan of like, you know, extra little features and everything like that. Spice up the game, but it's the core mechanics of the game. In NHL 10, adding that in, it, it really improved the game and improved the experience. NHL 2003, you were good. You were the last game I had on PC, and I really think NHL needs to return to PC. You're on PlayStation, you know, you're on, um, you're on Xbox, probably should make your way to the Switch and somehow, even if you just do like an arcade game like that, but NHL, you need to return to PC, especially with all this like cross-platform gaming now, get into it, let's go. Uh, NHL 06, that was good, playing on the PlayStation, had loads of fun with that. And then the Switch. So NHL 06, I had PlayStation 2. NHL 07, I had the Xbox 360. And the skill stick came into play. And it revolutionized NHL video gaming, hockey video gaming. And this was, even though I'll say, NHL 2K7 was potentially a better game overall. NHL 07, implementing that skill stick... It just skyrocketed and made NHL, EA Sports NHL, better than 2K. 
and 2K couldn't really recover after that. Um, I will admit though, 2K2, 2K7, phenomenal. I have both NHL 07 and 2K7. Um, but the skill stick, that's what kept bringing me back. NHL 08, you were just okay. You were just okay. It was NHL 07, but 08. 09, I feel the same way. Um, and then obviously we had NHL 10. You include the defensive skill stick, so it improved. NHL 11, uh, just like NHL 10, it was good. It was a great game. Uh, I think the, the transition over to NHL 11 was smooth, added a little bit more, um, but not too much to bring it up into that excellent category. And NHL, you know how NHL does, right? They, they bring something in and then they kind of plateau off. So NHL 12, plateau. NHL 13, plateau. NHL 14, loved you. Loved you, loved you, loved you. And NHL 15 as well. Um, it was NHL 14 or 15 the last before like the Xbox One and the PS4 came out. I don't really remember. NHL 15 could go to excellent or good. I will say one thing about NHL 15. Watch a video the other day of someone going back and playing it and the gameplay. NHL 15 looked and felt like an actual NHL game. You know what? Screw it. I'm putting in excellent. And the only reason is, yeah, it could become like a little bit boring, but NHL 15 looks and plays more like an actual NHL game, and it's less arcadey than, let's say, the now NHL 21. Um, and that's why it should be excellent, just because it brings that real feel. So I'm putting in excellent. I changed my mind. Not good. Excellent. Um, NHL 16, we plateau again. 17, we plateau. 18, we plateau. 19, we plateau. Heck, while we're here, NHL 20 can go there too. NHL 21 would probably even go into there as well. Now, like, EASHL's in there. It's fun. Um, but I feel that NHL, the series, you're, you're not bringing anything new to the table. The mechanics are stagnant. Not much difference. Like I said, NHL 15 looked like it... The, the skating and everything was better, in my opinion. It just felt more real. You didn't have these like crazy, like, what was it? Like a spinorama behind the back pass that everyone's doing every game. It's not, it's not happening. Um, and I feel like NHL 18 to now 21, it's, it's a little bit more arcadey. Um, and if I want arcade, I want NHL arcade style. Or, you know, the NHL 21 brought that hut rush. That's fun. That's fun. We'd probably be in good at NHL 21, but I think they're more bothered of, you know, the shine instead of like the core values that need to be worked on in NHL. Um, like HUT. HUT is, it's a shine. Just money maker. Anyway, I digress. NHL 2000, I did not play. NHL 2001, some may put this in bad. I'm going to put this in okay. Um, didn't have 2000, so it was my first new game, and I was playing it on the computer, uh, on PC, moving from NHL 99. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Did my uh, Dynasty mode or season, whatever it was at the time, and I played the heck out of this game. It was great. You play it on, like, you know, like a joystick or, uh, you know, keyboard. Good fun. And then you have NHL 2002. I didn't have NHL 2002. However, my friend did. And it was phenomenal. I actually like it better than NHL 2003, and I'm going to put it in excellent. One, you got Mario Lemieux on the cover right away. Um, and this is when you had, like, you know, Mario's Nike stick was in it as well. Uh, I really love that. Side note, on NHL 2003, I think this is when you had the, you know, like the silver Eastern Synergy show up. Um, but it wasn't Eastern Synergy. I, I might have just said NHL down the side because they didn't have the rights to it yet. And then you had NHL 2004, um, and it brought in, uh, like, you had the red synergy and everything like that. NHL 04, that was good fun. That was good fun. NHL 05, you're just okay. You're just okay. Um, nothing really pops out at me for NHL 05. Then you have one of the GOATs, the greatest of all time, NHL 94. NHL 94 has everything you need simple um simple layout on the you know the home screen you go into your season 
it shows players who are hot they gain uh, overalls you know if they're cold they lose it you can edit the lines you have like a little breakdown beforehand of what's been happening when you are um, in intermission it shows the scores around the league honestly NHL 94 you can take some of those concepts and bring it into NHL 22 and it honestly it would make like franchise mode and everything so much better it really would oh man um, I would uh, come on yeah, it's not that hard to do. You can do it. You did it back in 94. Um, they they brought, like, the NHL 94 back now, but it's, you know, with the updated rosters and everything. Um, I prefer them to actually just bring me, give me actual NHL 94. I want to play with Pavel Bure. I want to play with Yager and Kevin Stevens and Mary Lemieux and Francis and all that. I want the older guys. Heck, do you know what, NHL? Give me an NHL Legends game. I don't need this grit team or anything like that. Just give me an NHL Legends game. Maybe a little spin-off. Um, you know, you can... It could be... It doesn't need to be like an online thing. It'd just be literally like a fran... Not even franchise. Just season mode. Just something. And maybe a little DLC. Uh, and you can just do your f uh, fantasy draft through that. Not hut. I don't want to be paying money. I'll pay extra for the DLC. But I don't want to be paying money to get certain players to be able in my league to be in in my league but give me legends throughout and let me do a franchise mode with legends just add that into nhl 22 uh, nhl 95 similar to 94 it was good nhl 96 excellent for me because it nhl 94 slower paced nhl 96 it was like the developers were like let's put these guys on speed and let them go uh, you just flew around the rink and uh, <laughs> it was fun. It, it was good fun. Uh, much different than NHL 94, um, but still just as enjoyable. And I think they even had like a shootout mode and stuff like that in 96. Uh, NHL 98, good game. NHL 99, you're going to be a goat for me. One reason, I had it for the uh, N64, and I played the heck out of that. Um, you know when like the cartridge or whatever, you had to blow on it? get the dust out and slam it in you know uh when it's it, at that stage you've played it a lot and hl 99 played it a ton uh big hits good speed and um they don't make games like that anymore so that's my list my goats nhl arcade 07 for the skill stick 94 nostalgia 99 just the overall game excellent again um it's just they, they knew what they are or they've made significant changes or they were just a very solid game like an NHL 15. This is my list. Uh, let me know what you would do. Uh, if I was 2K, 2K2 to 2K7, you're probably in between the good and excellent category. Uh, the ESPN hockey is probably in that as well. Um, the Wayne Gretzky ones, you're in okay to bad. <laughs> um, those weren't the best. Uh, the Stanley Cup one uh, for the SNES, I'm going to put it uh, in good if I could, because, uh, you know, you would just skate to the center of the ice and flick it, flick it and try to, and it somehow went in, um, kind of like the same mode of like, what was it like super soccer back in the day when you always just shot it, uh, just inside the post. Anyway, uh, that's my list. Let me know what your list would look like, uh, and comment down below, um, if you would change anything here. I'm sure there is a lot of debate. Anyway, that's it for me. If you want to check out, uh, my channel feel free i do a lot of um videos on the leafs i react to basically every leafs game win lose um also you can follow me on twitch i think it's the hockey dad games uh usually i'm just playing nhl uh 21 online versus um and i think right now i'm ranked 42nd uh in xbox that's it for me cheers thank you for listening thanks for watching see you again next time